Okay, here we go. Cab hasn't leaked yet. Been raining on a little bit as we went. You saw the video of mine and where I looked over a 71 GTX, which didn't make it to my garage. But today we're gonna go pick up something that's pretty cool as well. Here we go. All right, lads, we're back. Back to the building. This old girl out of here. Oh, damn, I forgot a broom. Shoot. Damn it. Forgot everything. Whatever. Gonna be dirty. Who's getting dirty today? This guy, I guess. All right, he's on. Honestly, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, backs were a little tight, but went well, on. Those are 235 60s, 15s. They, don't look, they look good. She's a little rough. Did. Front one's tight. Yep. Anyway. Alright, she's back. That went remarkably well. Nothing locked up. The, the passenger side right rear was tough to get to because it was right next to that GTX. We got her done. Brakes weren't locked. That was a huge. Those are good-looking cars. Never looked at them. I always liked the '64. Turns out this is from the firewall back. It is a '64. Just changed the front sheet metal. Good-looking cars. So if you look over here, you're getting a before and after. Tons of mouse shit down here. Nice. Goodness, it stinks in here. Hey, we got a. Uh, I don't know what these are. Chalks, maybe. What do you think the chances there being a build sheet in here? Let's see how much cushions left. None. None. You know what? This interior is in great shape for considered. All right. Keys in here. What are the chances of the key being in there? None. Let's have some key rations here. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some more wood grain. I don't know. Whatever. Pull the ignition out. All right. What's this? Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Yeah, but I'm not putting it on. Toxic. Oh, she feels better already. Yes, ma'am. Better save some of that barn fine rust in a jar. <laughs> dust, raw barn fine dust. Richard Petty going around Daytona in this little booger. All right. <clears throat> Here we are. They did some work. Wavy quarter. This is to be got running and just. I don't know what rear end it is yet. My son's gonna actually vacuum this thing out. It's a brave soul. Stick shift. Be interesting to see how well this does clean up. Oh, 
Um, pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. <clears throat> Where are you gonna start? Mm. What year are those? 70, 71? <clears throat> Sunoco? Tell me you found a key in there. You know what this thing should have is a data, data tag. Let me look. Yeah. Forgot. I figured out how to open this up. Chrysler Faithful, where is this stuff at? Yeah, I thought it was up there. The Serta car, that's what I want to say. Where do they start that? To look a little closer, I don't see one. I thought it was over there on the other side. Nineteen sixty five three eighty three high per. Hold on, Rhino. Let's look at the fucking carnage. Jesus Christ. Those little bastards. And you can you know it smells like piss. Now let me look here. But before you do any more, there's underneath. It's that freaking nasty. I think the chances of a build sheet being in there are I think I might have seen some evidence of that. No, we're looking out. These are maps. Little fuckers got into the maps. All right. All right. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Got some big turds in there, boy. Mouse turds or rat turds. Yeah, rat. See any build sheet yet? I, can't tell. Uh, I think these are all maps. says Hanford. I don't think there's any Hanford assembly plants in thing and I don't think they put any Amco. Yeah, let's talk about high school. Good. All right, I'll dump this out in the woods. Nasty, nasty. Little son of a bitches. All right. Oh, the trunk's open. There's the cardboard back. Um, that's remarkable. There's a format. It's history. So this is in here. Um, yeah, the car has more, a little extra ventilation. Look at that. That's still there. A little extra ventilation. Mouse piss uh, kind of didn't completely roach the floor out in the back here, but it did a number. But there's some ventilation over there. Yeah because I'm gonna show you what kind of work that somebody did back in the day to fix a fender water panel. Is this, is this cool right here? A little galvanized, little pop rivets. Yeah, that's nice, whatever. All right, here we go. <coughs> Okay, here's the trunk we talked about. <clears throat> There's some air holes. One, some down there. The floor, I realize this is my first time doing all this. I didn't do a very good job of showing some of the previous work that was done. That's real special right there. The galvanized and whatnot. <clears throat> ugly, ugly quarter. And they even cut off the trim down there. Um, coming in here, they have already replaced the front floor pans. Which, uh, as Forrest Gump said, it's one less thing, right? Until I got the carpet out, I didn't know what I was seeing. I knew there was a hole down below. <clears throat> but that works for me. Um, air holes back here. 
that's okay over there i guess who knows now where the uh, mice had their biggest nest there's one little hole right there i'm gonna clean that floor pan up <clears throat> The whole point of this car was just to uh, do some stuff, get it running, drive it. I'm not going to do a resto because these things just don't bring the money, any kind of money. It is a uh, 383 car. As you can see, when they painted it, they just painted over everything. Um, yesterday, I was looking for the CERTA card. It's not there. I think this, the 65, I think was the first year for a CERTA card, and it was likely in the glove box. And, uh, yeah, so it's gone. Got some ugliness here. Doesn't give me a lot of heartburn. Of course, under the battery tray. We're missing some of, the, some of that. That's not good. Um, up around there. What else? Okay, I don't know grandma's name yet. This guy's grandmother bought this car. She's pretty badass. She bought this and ripped around in it for a few years. Then she decided she needed a Roadrunner. I don't know if it was a four speed or not. All right, well then that eventually went away. And at age 70, she wanted another Roadrunner. They got her one. She's not around anymore, because I'd sure like to take her for a ride. This thing was optioned a little bit. It does have the clock. It's got the bumperettes up front. Um, like I said before, those dark nights out in the middle of Cornfield area, Illinois, in 1965, they had the spotlight. Get the deer from running out in front of you. So what am I going to do? Well, <clears throat> I'm going to get an engine build. It's going to be mild. We're not getting stupid here because... Stupid means a lot of money. Probably get, should get a little cam. Um, haven't decided about headers. You know, um, I'm going to have to pay for an exhaust anyway. So I'll have that. Um, with headers, I, I pick up a few horsepower. And especially because I'm probably going to put some 440 source heads on here. I've got to get a valve job done, and I need hardened exhaust seats. So that's halfway to a set of 440 source heads that flow, what, 290 something? I don't know. A whole lot better than these cast iron heads, that's for sure. Um, fuel lines, brake lines. <clears throat> I was going to get nuts and do a front disc brake conversion, but I'm not now. It's going to get a dual master cylinder but i'm just going to keep the drums you know just going to be the way it is of course front end rebuild drop the drive shaft u joints pull the diff see what's in there change the fluid there clean her up <clears throat> hopefully now she doesn't smell like mouse whiz so bad um because it did wasn't good so like I said this is the first time I've been doing these kind of videos so as far as reading feedback if anybody does believe any I don't know uh, I'll try to I suppose suggestions um, I lucked out a little bit I think grandma's watching out for me here uh, the sill plates are all rotted away from mouse whiz Let's see if we can't find some of these somebody's got them but this thing came off accelerator pedal which i was really skeptical what oh, i'm not showing to you skeptical if it would or not just put a flat bar underneath of it up on top and off they came so that's cool it's kind of neat how i got these uh this kind of stuff on here like i said a camera may be all over the place sometimes the rear bumper's loose but uh We'll see what's going on there. Anyway, that's it for today, because guess what? It's going to rain soon, and this guy gets to mow grass. Talk to you later.